Hello and welcome back to another Higher Mathematics video on our topic on differentiation. Today we're going to be looking over a very important rule that will come up all the time in questions to do with differentiation and this rule is called the chain rule. So in our topic on functions we looked at a particular type of function called a composite function which we said is a function combined with another function. So for example, f of g of x. Well, today we're going to be looking at how we would differentiate a composite function. So if the functions f and g are defined on suitable domains, then we would create a particular rule called the chain rule, which is given by the formula where the derivative d by dx, so the derivative with respect to x, of a composite function, now I'm going to put this in square brackets because we're going to have curly brackets for the f of g of x bit. We would say the derivative of a composite function is equal to f dashed g of x. So the derivative of um, the function f with g of x and then it will be multiplied by the derivative of the bit inside the bracket. So f uh, dash g of x multiplied by g dash x. Now this might be quite confusing but the best way to get your head around it is by looking at particular examples. So to state this simply, what we are doing to differentiate this function, this, this composite function, is we differentiate the outer functions first, and then the bracket stays the same, and then we multiply it by the derivative of what is inside the bracket. So for example, if we had a function that might look something like x cubed plus 2x, all to the power of four, we could use the chain rule to do this without having to expand the brackets four times. We would call the bit inside the bracket here, our g of x, and the bit outside the bracket, which is just to the power of four, our f dashed of x, or our f of x. Now, let's actually do it for this case. Let's say that y is equal to this. Let's do our chain rule to do this. So differentiating, we said that the first thing we do is we differentiate the bit outside of the brackets. So to do that, our bit outside of the brackets is just to the power of four. So this thing to the power of four, so what we do is we bring the four on down to the front. Then we said we keep the g of x the same. This bit inside the bracket is going to be our g of x. So we keep this the same, we get x cubed plus 2x and because we're differentiating we take away 1 from the power so we have 3 and we multiply all this by g dashed x so the derivative of what's in here so we're going to have the derivative of 3 well, we'll put this in brackets and um, the derivative of x cubed is going to be 3x squared and the derivative of 2x is just plus 2 and we would call this the um, derivative of this composite function and we would usually just leave this as it is there but let's do a more that, that was quite an easy example let's do a more complex example of the chain rule where we have cos involved so we have this equation if y equals cos of 5x plus pi over 6 find the derivative dy by dx. Now in this case we can see that our g of x, which is this thing inside the brackets, g of x will always be the thing that's inside the brackets and there will usually be something outside if you're doing the chain rule. So in our case it's cos. So we have um, y is equal to cos. I'm just rewriting out for us. 5x plus pi over 6. It's help us visualize it. I'll say that our f of x is equal to cos, just whatever's in the brackets, and our, I'll just put x though, and our g of x, in our case, is 5x plus pi over 6. 
So if we look at our formula, all we're simply doing to work out the derivative is begin by finding the derivative of whatever's outside of the brackets. So we said that cos goes to minus sine, if you remember from our video on differentiating sine and cos, although it is on your formula sheet. So we get minus sine of whatever is in the brackets, so 5x plus pi over 6. And the last step is to multiply all this by g dashed x, the derivative of g of x, which is going to be, always put this in brackets, 5, and actually the pi over 6 is just going to disappear. So it's just going to be multiplied by 5. So we can see that we can just bring the 5 over to the front to get minus 5 sine 5x plus pi over 6. And this is our derivative of this equation here. So to go over this one more time, because the chain rule can be quite tricky, it's to do with composite functions. So you will always have a function of another function. So in our case, our first function is f of x for this one, uh, cos x, sorry. And our second function is 5x plus pi over 6. So we can see that f of g of x in this case is going to give us cos of 5x plus pi over 6, which is indeed our um, composite function up here. So we would say that to find the derivative of this, we start by finding the derivative of the outer function. So the derivative of cos x is minus sine x. So we put minus sine and our thing in bracket just stays the same. And then we multiplied by the derivative of the thing in bracket. So we multiplied by 5. And we can just bring that 5 right to the front of it to get minus 5 sine 5x plus pi over 6.